G'day, Ben here. Welcome to 5 Minutes to Groove. We've talked about how you can use Groove to easily build effective operator interfaces, and how you can use Groove to monitor and control your system from any device, with any screen size, from just about anywhere. Now, we're going to show you how you're just 5 minutes away from making your own working operator interface. We're going to apply power to the box, log in with the browser, drag and drop gadgets, connect those gadgets to your controller, save and view securely on any device. So let's get started. First, grab your company network and plug it into Ether Zero. Next, plug in the power cable. Now, power up the Groove box by momentarily pressing the power button. When the sys light stops flashing, you're ready to go. Like most corporate networks, we're running network services like DHCP and DNS. So what that means is that the Groove box is automatically going to pick up an IP address and its host name is going to be registered on the network. You can find the default host name of the Groove box by looking at the label on the side of the Groove box here. OK, the syslight has finished flashing, so the Groove box is ready to go. Go to a computer, any computer, here in the studio, I'm using this Mac laptop. Fire up a modern browser, I'm using my favourite, Chrome, and enter the host name. We're going to be making a secure connection to the Groove box, so we type in https colon slash slash and then the default host name. In my case, that's opto-02-78-0. C and hit enter. You're presented with a security warning because we're using a self-signed certificate out of the box. You can go ahead and accept it because the communication is still encrypted with 256-bit encryption. We now connect to the Groove box and the first time we see this welcome screen describing how we need to make two username and passwords, one for the box and one for the app. So click it next and let's create the username and password for the Groove box. I'm going to call it Groove Box Admin, and we'll type in a password, and then we'll confirm the password by typing the same one again. We'll go ahead and we'll create that account. Now we're going to create the Groove App username and password. This username will be able to create other users and to go in and out of Groove Build. So I'm going to call it Groove Admin. We're going to put in a password, and then confirm that password again. And go ahead and let's create that. We're done. We've just set up everything about the Groove box. So let's go on now, start making our very first screen. Let's start by configuring our controller. Click Configure, Controllers, and then Add Controller. Now you can put in the IP address or the host name for your controller. For me, that's 10192.56.225. Leave the controller port and browse now to your strategy IDB text file. You'll find this in the same directory as your strategy file. Go ahead and click Import. Boom! We've just imported all those tags from that controller. Let's add a page, give it a name. I'm going to call it Studio Lights. Click OK, and we've just created our first blank page. Now we can drag and drop our gadgets on there. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to grab the round gauge gadget. I'm going to drop that on the page, and I'm going to connect that to my studio air temperature. So select my controller. It's a numeric variable, air temperature. We're done. Now let's set up the range for that. I know the studio is going to be somewhere between 60 and 80 degrees. Now I'm going to grab my button to turn the lights on and off. So grab the button gadget, drag that over and drop it. Connect that to the digital output in the controller. If you've got a lot of tags, you can just type in the name and it'll drill down through the list. Click Close and the connection is made. I'm going to change the color so it's yellow when the lights are on and black when it's off. Let's go ahead and give it a label. I'm going to call it Studio Lights. And we're done. That's everything. I'm just going to resize it a little bit. See how everything snaps to a grid? We're finished. Let's go ahead and save our work by clicking File, Save All, and switch to Groove View. There we are. There you can see our live air temperature and our button to control the lights. Let's go ahead and turn the lights out. Awesome. That worked. All right, let's turn them back on. So there you have it. 
In less than five minutes, we've configured our groove box and built a working screen. Oh, and one more thing. While we built our operator interface for a PC, Groove automatically built the pages for our mobile device. We'll show you how in our video, 5 Minutes to Mobile. Till then, cheers mate.